welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I am Kimberly and I am a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. In today's video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of forces. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's get started. Two identical pieces of paper, one crumpled into a ball, are released from the same height at the same time as shown in the diagram below. The crumpled ball of paper reaches the ground first, and the question wants us to find out the reason why the crumpled ball of paper reaches the ground first. If you take a quick look at the options, you will realize that this question is focusing on the topic on forces. Let us recap what are the four kinds of forces we have learned so far. We have gravitational force, frictional force, elastic spring force, and magnetic force. Let us look at this diagram here. On the topic of forces, we should always label the forces that are acting on the object. We will always start with gravitational force, as gravitational force acts on all objects with mass. Let us draw the gravitational force acting on both pieces of paper downwards. Now, let us analyze if gravitational force acting on the objects is same or different. To do that, we have to analyze the factors of gravitational force. What are the factors of gravitational force? We have mass and location. Let us focus on the factor on mass first. If you read the question very carefully, you will realize that they mentioned that these two pieces of paper are identical, which means that their mass will be the same. What about location? Location is usually always the same unless stated otherwise. Since both the mass and the location is the same, what does this tell us about gravitational force acting on both pieces of paper? They are also the same. Now, since the pieces of paper are falling downwards, they are moving. Whenever an object is moving, we say that there is frictional force acting on it. Since these pieces of paper are moving downwards through air, there is frictional force between the papers and the air. And this force is called air resistance. And air resistance is acting upwards. Now that we have labeled the forces, let us identify what is the change variable between the crumpled piece of paper and the normal piece of paper. I know most of you will tell me one is crumpled while the other is not. However, this is not the science concept that the question is testing you on. Instead, you will realize that they are testing you on the concept of exposed surface area. Now, does exposed surface area affect gravitational force or air resistance? To answer this question, I would like you to think of a parachutist. When a parachute opens, the parachute will have a larger exposed surface area and trap more air. Hence, there will be more air resistance acting upwards on the parachutist, allowing him to float for a longer period of time. Knowing that, since the crumpled ball of paper has a smaller exposed surface area, would there be more or less air resistance acting on the crumpled ball of paper? There would be less air resistance acting upwards on the crumpled ball of paper, allowing it to fall faster and reach the ground first. Now, let us look at the option. The first option states that the mass is greater. As we have mentioned, the pieces of paper are identical, which means that the mass of the paper is the same. The next option states that the weight pulls it down faster, which suggests that more weight is acting on the crumpled ball of paper. Weight is referring to gravitational force. You recall that we said that gravitational force acting on both pieces of paper is the same as their mass is also the same. Hence, the weight will pull it down at the same rate. The third option 
says that the force of gravity exerted on it is less. Force of gravity is also referring to gravitational force. And we say that gravitational force acting on both papers are the same. The last option states that the friction between the ball of paper and the air is less. Friction between the ball of paper and the air is referring to air resistance. Is the air resistance acting on the crumpled ball of paper lesser? Yes. Hence, the answer to this question is number four. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you again next time. Bye!